Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Guess what? It's my book release week. <laughs> I'm very excited, but as you can probably hear in my voice, I have been a little under the weather. Never been sick, perfect immune system. I'm gonna rally, it's gonna be fine because ultimately I do wanna document this and have it to look back on. So without further ado, welcome to A Week in My Life. First of all, they're doing construction on the house next door. So I'm warning you now, you're gonna hear noises. Second, I competed this past weekend in my third ever powerlifting meet in USAPL. And despite not feeling well, I had a great day. I was able to get best lifter out of the women and I've never gotten that before. So that was exciting. I weighed in lighter than expected. I weighed in at 115 pounds. I matched my squat meet PR, which was 147 and a half kilograms or 325 pounds. I've done heavier than that in the gym and I was wanting to go heavier, but between not feeling well and weighing in lighter, I just decided not to chance it. It all worked out. I did get a meet PR for bench, which was 75 kilograms or 165 pounds. And I also got a deadlift meet PR, which was 167 and a half kilograms or 370 pounds. And I went nine for nine, which means I got all three attempts on squat bench and deadlift, which I've also never done before in a meet. So that was exciting. Next stop is nationals, which is in September in Memphis. So I'll keep you updated on that. But today is operation get my life back together. Even though the meet wasn't that far away, it was in San Antonio. Whenever I come back from any kind of a trip, I just feel like I need to clean up, do laundry, go grocery shopping, all of the things so I can feel back in routine. So first on the list is laundry. And let me just say, I just did laundry on Thursday. It is now Monday. I feel like it shouldn't be this bad, but here we are. I'm getting laundry for the first time in like a month. And I need to know down in the comments, are you team, make sure the clothes are all the right way, like not inside out before you wash them? Or do you not care and just put it in the hamper, the laundry basket and wash it and figure it out later? I am team, everything needs to be going the right way before it goes into the washing machine. <laughs> Is this what it's like to have children? <laughs> Anytime you try to do something, they just do the opposite of what you're trying to do. <sighs> and in case you couldn't tell, I would say Billy and I, you know, we have a favorite color. <laughs> we like what we like. Next on the list was grocery shopping, and I thought we could do a little grocery haul. Let's start with my lunches for the week, and I will show you how I assemble it all, but I've been making these, what I call like Mediterranean bowls, and I'm putting air quotes, because that's a very loose term. It's almost just like a big salad, I guess. But two big bags of shredded lettuce for that, and then I cook up some ground turkey for my protein source, and I top it with cucumber, tomatoes. If my parents are watching this, they're super confused because I have hated tomatoes my entire life. Lately, my taste buds have been changing and I kind of like them now. I don't even know who I am anymore. <laughs> and then I also pickle onions to put on them, which are phenomenal. I will show you how I do that. And then I just add tzatziki, which I already have some in the fridge, and lemon juice, and I mix it all up, and it's delicious. For dinners this week, tonight we are having like an Italian chicken. It's just chicken with Italian seasoning. So I got a big flat of chicken. This will be enough for two nights of dinners plus leftovers for Billy to take for lunch. 
And then on the side, we are having some roasted tomatoes and zucchini in the oven. Then tomorrow night, we are having taco salad. So I will use some of the shredded lettuce. We already have rice on hand. I got a big thing of ground beef. This will be enough for two nights of dinners. Some Southwestern corn. And then other than that, we just add like salsa. I usually add like Greek yogurt because it tastes similar to sour cream because it's like non-flavored Greek yogurt. And that's typically it for taco salad. Then the night after that, what are we on? Wednesday, we're gonna have sweet and sour chicken. So I already showed you the chicken breast. I just get frozen veggies that we steam up. We already have rice and we already have sweet and sour sauce. Super easy. And then Thursday night, we are having egg roll in a bowl. We will use the rest of the ground beef, a whole bag of coleslaw mix, and then I just top it with like soy sauce and hoisin sauce. Then moving on to non-meal related things. I've been on a big PB&J kick lately, so I got some bread. This is the Sara Lee Delightful Bread. I had to get garlic powder because we were low on that. I got some Halo Top, which Listen, I know some people are not fans of like low calorie ice cream. I personally like it. I really like Enlightened and NYX brands. Halo Top is what I had in college. At the time I thought it tasted good. Then I got to the point where I realized there were better options. However, recently I've been on a big Halo Top kick again because they reformulated and it is so much better now. It's so much creamier. This is one of my favorite flavors. It is the chocolate caramel brownie. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that in the freezer. And then some fruit. So Granny Smith apples, cause they're pretty cheap. <laughs> some raspberries, which I love to add in to Greek yogurt. They're very high in fiber. Coffee creamer. My favorite is the International Delight Hershey's chocolate caramel. This is syrup that I put on my protein waffles, which I've been having for breakfast every single day for the past like month. I will show you how I make that at some point in the week. And then some little treats, you know, sometimes you just, you have some impulse buys. So Quest Bars, once again, had them a lot in college, loved them, eventually realized there were better protein bar options in terms of taste, but they have recently released these hero protein bars they have more of like a rice crispy kind of texture on the inside and they're very very good they have a chocolate coating oh this is the blueberry cobbler flavor which i have not had yet and then i had to get one for billy because i can't get myself a treat and not get him a treat so he loves these nugo bars which i really like as well and this one is dark chocolate and peanut butter which i don't think he has had so i'm gonna put all of this away and then we're gonna chat about my book First of all, here it is. Ah! <laughs> it just feels so surreal to actually have it and put my hands on it and to see my name and my picture and my words. It's just wow. But the official release date is tomorrow, Tuesday, May 2nd. So by the time you're watching this, if you pre-ordered, you most likely already have your copy. And if you do, I hope you love it. And if you do love it, if you would please leave a review, that would be fantastic. Can I read my book in your office? But funny story, I recorded myself opening the package and seeing the book for the first time but I had to do it twice because the first time it ended up not being the book, <laughs> which was really awkward. So first, here's that clip. Okay, so this box was just delivered. I'm like 95% sure it's my book. It's gonna be really awkward if I'm wrong. It's the anticipation. <laughs> this could be books, right? I don't know what else it would be. So if it's not, I'm in for a surprise. <laughs> Oh, that's awkward. It's not a book. It's the Chromebook. Oh man. And I do think it's ironic that it was a Chromebook, which also has book in the name, but regardless. Then here is the clip of me like actually opening the book for the first time. So I just got home from the gym, which means we're gonna pretend that I am not sweaty and disgusting, but I came home 
to a delivery of my books. This is my first time seeing them in person, in the flesh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so cool. <laughs> Feels nice too, it has a good, a good feel to it. Wow. I'm an author, I wrote a book. <laughs> All right, pretty cool. Now what's really cool about this is not only is my book releasing tomorrow, but y'all know my best friend Bridget, she also wrote a book and hers is releasing tomorrow as well. We did not plan to have the same release date. It just worked out that way and honestly, I think it's kind of adorable. And over the weekend while I was at my powerlifting meet, her book was delivered because I was one of the endorsers for her book. This will be my first time seeing her book like in person as well. Obviously I've already read it because I got like a digital copy in order to endorse the book, but yay! Here's the actual book. Oh, it looks so good. So hers is building the literacy block. And if y'all don't know, Bridget is like the queen of literacy instruction. So I am so excited for her. I know how much she has poured into this and I love she has like so many pictures in the book. And I know her book also comes with a bunch of like free resources that you can digitally download. So I will have her book linked down below if you are interested in grabbing it. I will also have mine in case you haven't gotten that either. Oh, they look so cute together. They were like a package deal on Amazon because so many people were buying them together, which I personally just think is adorable. And to celebrate her release of her book, I scheduled a, the company is called Send a Cake. It's like this little mini cake that they delivered to you. I scheduled one to be delivered to her tomorrow, but it actually ended up coming today but it works out because she took a personal day from school. So she was actually home today and she texted me a little bit ago because it was delivered and she sent me a video. I haven't watched it yet. So I thought we could watch it together. All right. So do I just pull it? I feel like something's going to pull <laughs> voice message in response. I love you too. I'm happy that it made it to you. Hopefully they included the picture of your book. There was supposed to be a picture of your book on like the packaging for the cake. But funny story, I had originally scheduled for it to be delivered tomorrow for the book release. And then once you told me you were taking today off, I went on to try to change it to today and it wouldn't let me, but then it ended up shipping early and was delivered today anyway. So it all worked out, but thank you for recording it too. Your reaction was adorable. And I'm gonna send you another voice message because I have something planner related to share with you. So I was supposed to schedule our planners, our new planners for Teach on the Double, our digital planners to go live today, but I took NyQuil last night and passed out before I got them like switched over on the website. So I need to do that and send her a voice message, but yay, so exciting. Next on the list is putting together some packages. So I've been collecting all these items in a laundry basket, which Am I the only one that does this where you, stuff comes and I just put it in a laundry basket? I'm like, I'll deal with that later. Well, later is now. And <laughs> first of all, this is not related to the book. Mom, if you're watching this, stop watching for the next 30 seconds. Mother's Day is coming up. And fun fact about my mom, love her, but she cannot keep plants alive to save her life. So instead of getting her a bouquet of flowers that will inevitably die very quickly, I found this like pop-up 3D card that is a bouquet of flowers on Amazon that I thought was pretty cool. So I'm going to get that ready for her. I'm also taking her and my dad to the Magnolia Table Restaurant in Waco which I've never been to that area. So if you have any suggestions for what to get there, like what food is really good, leave them down below. 
But related to the book, I got these confetti poppers, which I've never done a confetti popper, so I'm a little nervous, but also excited. One of them I'm going to pop tomorrow to celebrate the book release. One of them I'm going to pop during the virtual launch party, which is happening on Saturday. The other ones are backups. And then I also want to try to get some like pictures with them, you know, confetti book, but I'm going to need Billy's help for that. So that is not happening today. But in terms of packages I need to put together, I just got some like basic white bubble mailers and some like navy tissue paper to kind of play off of the ribbon on my book cover. And these first class teacher pencils, how cute are these? I had them made on Etsy. So I will link the store down below, but ah, those are adorable. And I also had made some little magnets. So if you pre-ordered my book, when I sent you the signed book plate, you got a sticker that looked like this. I just designed this little like ribbon, but I had them made also into magnets and some little keychains. So I had this done on a website called Sticker Mule. It's like mule, like the animal. And I just think they turned out really cute. Some confetti to put in the packages because who doesn't love confetti? And then these are for my book endorsers. So I'm gonna put together kind of two different packages. I'm going to put together some packages with those goodies and copies of my book that I'm just sending to friends that have like supported me throughout the years. And just as a way to kind of say, you know, hey, thank you, I wanted to send you a copy of my book. Then I am also doing packages for my book endorsers. So these are people that received an advanced copy of my book, like a digital copy. They read it and provided an endorsement, which I knew was a big time commitment on their part. So to say thank you, I'm gonna send them, you know, some of those goodies, but I also had these like little bookmarks made. So this was also on Etsy. I will link the shop. It's just like an acrylic piece with like a gold backing and I had them engraved with their names. So this one is going to Bridget but it's like a little bookmark and it's a pencil and I thought it was adorable. So I need to write up thank you notes and get these all packaged and hopefully get them shipped out today. I dread going to the post office because the line is always ridiculous, but I just need to suck it up and get it done. <laughs> So I'm gonna head to the post office, get them in the mail, come home, put away laundry, grab a snack, go to the gym. I know you're probably thinking I'm crazy because I just competed on Saturday. Did I also go to the gym yesterday? Yes, yes I did. It's just my happy place, leave me be. <laughs> but that's gonna be about it for today. Good news is I finally feel like my life is back together. morning and happy book launch day. <laughs> Although it's very anticlimactic because I don't really have any plans. I'm going to do the confetti popper later, but other than that, it's just a normal day. I do want to make it kind of like a me day where I do things that I enjoy because I don't think I take enough time to celebrate my accomplishments. I'm always just moving on to the next thing. And in this case, I think we are celebrating me. And I wanna savor this moment, starting with savoring my coffee because typically I drink my coffee while I initially jump into work. But today we're gonna sit at this table and we're just gonna sip and we're gonna enjoy until it is gone. But I will have to do a little bit of work. I have some emails to catch up on, comments to catch up on. I need to get two more packages in the mail and I need to switch over my website so that instead of saying pre-order my book, it just says order my book. But then 
then we're just gonna relax and enjoy the day. I'm officially all done with work for the day, which means now I get to just relax and enjoy, starting with breakfast. Lately, I've been loving making protein waffles because it's an easy way to get a protein, but I also think they taste delicious and it's so easy. I'm gonna show you how I make it. I start with a quarter cup of water, but you could always add the water in at the end just to get the consistency that you want. You add in an egg. And by the way, I do all of this in the measuring cup. That way I can pour directly from the measuring cup and it's much easier. I add in a little bit of baking powder. I don't measure it, but I would say it's probably about a teaspoon. I do it like that and then I'll do a little bit more. Fork is probably not the best way to do this, but it's fine. Okay, and then it's just a scoop of protein powder, which I weigh mine out and I add 28 grams. Now I will say I've experimented with a lot of different protein powders and I have found that a whey casing blend works best. It tends to just have a more even bake. So I use the PE Science brand protein. You can get it on Amazon or on their website or places like Vitamin Shop. This is the Frosted Chocolate Cupcake flavor. They also have a chocolate truffle flavor that is amazing. But you literally then just mix it all up. So I'm just using a whisk, whisking it all together, break up the yolk. This is my arm workout for the day. <laughs> And that's it. From there, you just heat it up using a waffle maker. I use a mini waffle maker, so I get about six mini waffles from the batter, but you could definitely use a regular size waffle maker as well. And you just top it with whatever makes you happy. So as part of my me day, we're gonna do a little reflection. I shared in one of my past vlogs, I have this powerlifting notebook and I use it leading into my meets to organize my checklists of everything I need. And then also I have different like spreadsheets and my meet attempts and warm ups and everything. But I also do a post meet reflection. So I reflect on how my prep went leading into the meet the actual meet day and the competition, how that went. And then a moving forward section, which is like new goals, things I need to change or do differently. So we're going to do a little reflection. Then I like how I'm saying we, yes, you are in on this with me. <laughs> we're going to do a little reading because I've been holding on to this book. Bridget got it for me for Christmas. It starts with us by Colleen Hoover. I really loved it ends with us. And I've been waiting to read this because I know once I start reading it, I'm going to finish it very quickly. And I've been doing a good job this year. I have read 10 books thus far in 2023, which is like nine more than I read last year. <laughs> so I'm gonna spend a little bit of time reading this and just enjoying it. Now I do need to meal prep today. Typically I grocery shop on Sunday and meal prep on Monday, but everything has been pushed back a day this week. So I'm meal prepping on Tuesday. It feels kind of weird, but it's going to be fine. The only thing I prep are my lunches. And I mentioned that I've been having these like Mediterranean bowl salad type things. So all I really have to do is cook up the ground turkey chop up the cucumber and tomatoes, and then pickle my onion. That sounded weird, but 
I always thought pickled onions were super fancy and very difficult, and it turns out it is incredibly easy and they are a game changer. So if you're not pickling your onions, I'm gonna show you how to do it. You know, just when I was starting to feel better, I had to chop up the red onion and now my congestion is a mess again, but you just chop up the red onion into strips. I will say thinner strips tend to do better. We're going to put a pot over medium high heat. We have a quarter cup of water, which I've already measured out. And then we're gonna add three quarters of a cup of apple cider vinegar. So it makes a total of a cup. We're gonna throw that in the pan. And by pan, I meant pot. <laughs> then you add a tablespoon of sweetener. So you can do like sugar. I just use a sugar substitute. This is some Truvia. So I'm adding one tablespoon and then just a little dash of salt. And then literally you just bring that to a simmer, pour it over the onions and then stick them in the fridge. It says that they're ready in about five minutes, the recipe that I follow for this. I usually let mine sit in there for at least like an hour or two, but then I use them all week. I've heard they can last up to like two weeks, but mine never make it that long because this will be gone by Friday. <laughs> And then when it's lunchtime, all I have to do is throw everything in a bowl. It's hard to see, but at the bottom, there is a ton of shredded lettuce. I have the diced cucumber, the diced tomato, diced pickles, which I had at Cava for the first time on a bowl like this, and I was obsessed. My personal favorite are these Grillo's pickles. I got these at Costco, but I know you can also get them at like Target and other grocery stores. We have the pickled onions that I prepared, the ground turkey, which I just season with salt, onion powder, garlic powder, basil, and oregano, and then tzatziki, which I kind of use as like the dressing. I also put a little bit of lemon juice on the shredded lettuce. So let me mix it all up and I will show you what it looks like. So it's not gonna win any kind of award for being the prettiest lunch, but it's as easy as throwing everything in a bowl. You can eat it cold. And this has like 35 grams of protein. So if you needed a new lunch idea, there you go. First of all, I feel like this vlog is lacking Ember content. So here you go. <laughs> She's a little on edge because of the construction next door. Oh, big stretch. But I just got a delivery from Bridget. How sweet. She is so stinking cute. White roses are my absolute favorite. And the note says, happy publication day. I'm so proud of you and all that you have accomplished. You are truly an amazing person and you have so much to give. Love you, lady, <laughs> Bridget. So I'm gonna go call her cause she's off school in like 15 minutes. All right, Billy is on his way home from work, which means it is almost Confetti Canyon time. Here's to hoping that it goes well. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's a lot more to clean up than Amber. I thought. <laughs> it ah. also sort of went down my shirt. Amber. That was fun though. Oh, there's yep. still some in there. You wanna watch it now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, confetti cannon, a lot of fun. Highly recommend. Ember was not a fan, but that was to be expected. It is now Wednesday and my entire day so far has just been spent in front of my computer, which is very on par with how most of my days are. But a few fun updates. Number one, one of the things I've been working on today is getting my summer book club Facebook page ready to go and getting all the information added on to my websites. So if you haven't already heard, I am running a free summer book club for first class teaching. So as long as you have a copy of the book, you are welcome to join. There's no cost or anything. You just join in the Facebook group. Within the Facebook group, I have a free 18 page discussion guide that you can download that we will use throughout the weeks. It's going to start on June 1st and go through July 6th, it's six weeks in a row. We're gonna meet every Thursday in the Facebook group. If you can't make it, it's fine. You'll be able to watch the videos after the fact. And if you can't join this summer, it's okay because my plan is to run this every summer. So all the details will be down in the description box. If you wanna join, I would love to have you. Other than that, 
You might notice that I am walking and talking. I've had this standing desk for a while now and I liked it, but I get bored just standing and I wanted to incorporate more movement in my day. So back in January, I invested in a walking pad, which is essentially a treadmill with no like top part. And it's meant to go under like a standing desk so that you can walk while you work. I absolutely love it. Now it was pricey, it was an investment. When I got it, it was on sale. So depending on what the price is like on Amazon, you know, it is what it is. But I just walk real slow at like two miles an hour and I still go for walks outside, don't get me wrong, but I feel like this is great when either it's super hot outside, which, hello, I live in Texas, so that's often in the summer, if it's raining, or if I'm just swamped with work, I don't always have time to go out for a walk, so this is a great way to get in movement, and you might have noticed I wear my Apple Watch on my ankle because if it were on my wrist while I'm up here typing on my computer, it wouldn't register my steps. So it was a whole journey in order to find an Apple Watch band that would work well for this because I was using the standard band, which did not fit around my ankle. I got another like adjustable stretchy band, but it was very quickly getting stretched out. So let me show you. I can do this while walking. So I ended up getting this band. It's basically magnetic. So these little pieces here all have magnets in them. So what's really nice is I can easily put it on my wrist and you can adjust it, you know, depending on where the magnets catch to fit different wrist sizes. But I can also take and put it on my ankle. And it's super handy when I'm at the gym because when I wear wrist wraps, I have to move my Apple Watch up and it was always a pain to have to adjust it. So I will link this Apple Watch band if you are interested in that as well. But this is, this is my entire day, so I have nothing else worthwhile to share. I had to share this. Shout out to Mandy, which I met Mandy at the Teaching on the Double Live event Bridget and I held last summer. She is just the sweetest, kindest soul I think I've ever met in my entire life. And she sent me these nifty gifties to celebrate the book release. First of all, tissue paper on brand. And then look, we've got I Heart Pretzel Day socks, the office sign, and it's magnetic. Some Shroot Farms mints, which y'all already saw. I'm currently wearing my Shroot Farms sweatshirt shirt. We've got crumble cookies, which I was trying to convince myself I did not need them this week, but I think I just lost that battle. <laughs> so thank you, Mandy. You just made me feel so loved and so special. And I am so incredibly appreciative of your support. You gonna get fur all over the nice clean couch and the nice vacuum floors? I think that's a yes. <laughs> It is now Friday. I was a bad vlogger and didn't record yesterday, but in my defense, it was literally just a day of meetings and computer work. All right, no more meetings this week. I did, however, get my slides created for the virtual launch party for my book, which is happening tomorrow. So let me show you the slides. First of all, I love when she just sits on the couch like that, but I just created these slides in Canva. It's nothing fancy. This will be on the screen when they join in. I will say hello and welcome everyone. Go over some housekeeping because there will be over 300 people on the call. So making sure everyone stays muted, uses the chat. We are gonna celebrate with yes another confetti cannon and i also have a bottle of sparkling cider i'm gonna open i was going to read the introduction to my book but if y'all saw my last video that went up then you already know that i ended up reading it in a video so i'm going to skip over that because it would just be repetitive we're gonna play a game together of course i will have a prize for whoever wins it's just a like who knows me best so like michelle trivia if you will and then i'm gonna share some upcoming events. So first, the Summer Book Club, which I mentioned, some giveaways. I'm just going to be doing random giveaways for some like first class teaching merch and gift cards, things like that. 
just to people who share out the book all month long on social media, just kind of at random. And then I haven't talked about this, but Bridget and I are going to try to do a meetup. She's going to come out to Texas again this summer. And we're going to try to do like a book signing, come hang out and chat with us. But we're still working on the details. So stay tuned. (laughs) We're going to do a question and answer. And then I'm just kind of thanking them for their support. And obviously it's like, hey, if you loved it, if you could leave a review, share it out, tell your friends, that would be awesome. So the virtual launch party is for anyone who pre-ordered my book before the end of February and filled out the form on my website to claim the freebies. I'm very excited for it. I'm nervous. I shouldn't be nervous because it's just like, celebratory, but I get nervous for a lot of things and I probably shouldn't. Today, I cleaned the house this morning, which I do every Friday. It makes me feel so good. Now, I'm essentially just waiting for Billy to get home. It is Cinco de Mayo. We are going to our favorite little like hole in the wall Mexican. It's really more Tex-Mex place for dinner, which I'm excited about. And then tomorrow, we've got the virtual launch party happening. So I will check in again after that. Thank you everyone for being here. I'm so excited. And like I mentioned, as y'all were coming on, it's so good to like put a face to the names that I've been seeing. And I just want to say welcome and kick it off by saying thank you so, so much for all of your support. I picked that song strategically. You're making my dreams come true because that's literally what this feels like. I usually, Uh when I do meetings, I have to like kick her out because this is what she wants to do. But I was like, I'll let you have your moment. (laughs) We're gonna start with the confetti cannon. And if y'all saw my Instagram video, this was an experience. I had never done one of these before, but I just feel like we all need more confetti cannons in our life. So brace yourself because it is a little bit loud. Also, Billy's recording it for my vlog because I'm vlogging this week. All right, so one, two, Three. Oh my gosh. (laughs) Billy's gonna help me clean this up, right? Billy's gonna clean it up. (laughs) Billy said Billy's gonna clean it up. Okay, fun. Also, if you're ever wanting to like celebrate in the classroom, y'all get a confetti cannon. Like the kids get so excited. And if you could see my desk right now, um, hot mess, but totally worth it. Does this pop like? No. Okay. I wasn't sure, because I don't think I've ever You can tell she doesn't drink champagne. No, I do not. <laughs> but. It's for kids. Is it? Well, I know it's for kids, but does it, oh, what ha- it needs like a bottle opener. There we go, okay. Whew. Also, I am team the grape cranberry Martinelli's is the best. Apple grape. Oh no, I'm sorry, apple grape, not cranberry grape, apple grape. I'm gonna let Billy partake as well. Mostly because I'm like, I can't drink this whole thing by myself. There you go. Thank you. Want to cheers me? Sure. Okay. Oh, he's still recording. (laughs) Cheers. And cheers if anyone else has their, you know, beverage of choice. Mm. Mm. Does it take you back to your childhood? It does. I'm sorry, but that hits. Like, I may be only almost 30 years old, but I can get down with some sparkling cider. So I'll give y'all, like, a minute or two to get joined in, but you will be able to join in late if you are in by the time we start the game. I'm gonna play some more music. This is my PD playlist that I always play. Virtual launch party was a success. I should not raise my arm because I'm sweating so bad right now because I get nervous for these things. But here is the aftermath, complete with the floor. However, that was so much fun. I just enjoy getting to interact with people and again, like put a face to the name. And if you were on the virtual launch party, thank you so much. That was so much fun. And now the rest of the day is just gonna consist of food. I'm gonna go to the gym, but Billy and I are meeting up with his dad later for dinner because I didn't tell y'all, but his dad just moved here to Austin. (laughs) He lives just a couple minutes from us now. All the family members are following us here, but we're gonna go get some barbecue tonight to kind of celebrate the book launch, a little bit more with the powerlifting meet. And this is my last week of celebration because starting Monday, I am gearing up for nationals, which is in September. So thank you so much. This is one of the longest vlogs I've done in a very long time. But if you made it this far, I appreciate you watching. And I hope you enjoyed just getting to see some of the behind the scenes. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. 
As always, thank you for watching. I love you so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I'll catch you in the next one.